What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a long, slow flow yoga class. Just like with the last time we did this class, I am going to include a playlist in the description so you can go ahead and listen to that. Feel free to listen to your own music. I'm gonna leave that up to you. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. I want you to come into a comfortable seated position on your mat, whether that's cross-legged for you or the legs out in front of you, just do what works best. And I want you to um, find your sits bones. So that bony part right at the back of your hip, I want you to press it down into the mat. So you may have to move your butt out of the way. That's okay. I want you to press your bones down into the mat so you feel grounded and you feel connected to the mat, you feel connected to the earth. Okay, once you're there, hands can come right to the tops of your legs or they can come to your low belly. We'll just take a couple of breaths here all together. Taking a big inhale through the nose. We'll take a big exhale. You can let it go through the mouth. Good, big inhale through the nose. We'll exhale through the mouth. Good, two more like that. Inhaling through the nose. We'll exhale through the mouth, let it go. Big inhale. And exhale, we'll let it go. Good, go ahead and seal your lips. Continue to breathe, inhale and exhale just through the nose. Steady, even breath, take a couple at your own pace. And take a second here, just do a full body scan. Maybe identify any areas that feel a little bit tight. And I'll invite you with every inhale that you take to send a little bit of extra energy into those spots. With your next inhale, you can go ahead and put the legs straight out in front of you. I'll take this time to turn around to the side. Legs straight out in front of you. And again, we're sitting heavy into the sits bones. Hands can come right down by your sides. And I want you to just take an inhale. You're going to point your toes. Find length at the front of your leg. We'll exhale, flex the feet. Draw the toes back towards your nose. Inhaling to point the toes, pushing forward, finding length at the front of the leg. Exhaling to flex the feet, pull the toes back towards the nose. Take one more right here. You can keep the feet, keep them flexed if you wanna bring them between pointed and flexed for you or just relax the legs, that's perfect. We'll inhale to reach the arms up overhead. I want you to do a gentle look up towards the ceiling, really gentle. And then we'll take a big exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold, reach down for the feet. If you can't reach the feet, the mat, the shins, that's perfect. Take a deep breath right here. And then on your next inhale, go ahead and roll yourself back up. Head's gonna be the last thing to lift. Once we get all the way up, we'll do that again. Inhaling, circling the arms around and up. We'll exhale to hinge at the hips, forward fold, reach down for the feet. Maybe this time you get one inch further, you drop that forehead a little bit closer to your shins. Take an extra deep breath right here. And we'll inhale to bring ourselves back up to seated one more time. We'll do that, inhaling to bring the arms around and up. Maybe a little back bend. 
We'll exhale to hinge at the hips, forward fold, reach over for the feet. Again, maybe you get a little bit further, but maybe not. Just depends how your body's feeling today. We'll take three slow, deep breaths right here. We'll take our next inhale to come back up through seated. Once you get up there, I want you to take the right leg. You're gonna cross your right leg over your left and you can point the right toes so you find a little bit more length. We'll reach the arms out in front of us and I want you to take the left hand. You're gonna reach the left hand to the inside of your left foot and then open the right arm back behind you. Right fingertips can touch the mat or your right hand can wrap behind you coming to the top of your left hip. And then your gaze can just point down to the mat. So we open up the shoulder, we get a little twist. And take a couple breaths here to identify where you feel the stretch, where you feel the release in your body. See if you can take another inhale and sink a little bit deeper. One more deep breath right here. And on your next inhale, we'll take the right hand, bring it around to meet the left. Big breath here. And we'll inhale to come back up through seated. Hands can come down by your sides. Right leg is going to uncross, left leg is going to cross over top of the right. We'll reach the arms out in front of us and then big inhale, we'll take the right hand, reach it towards the inside of the right foot, taking the left hand either back behind you, finding a half wrap, reaching for the top of the right hip, or left fingertips can just come back towards your mat or right beside you, wherever it's comfortable, wherever your shoulders are gonna let you go. Gaze can come down to your mat, you can look to the inside of your elbow. Whatever feels good, maybe you soften the gaze, closing the eyes. Take one more deep breath right here. And on your next inhale, we'll take the left hand, bring it around to meet the right. Deep breath here. And your next inhale will come back up through to seated. Hands can come down by your sides. We'll open the legs out. And now from here, we're just gonna come into a child's pose. So however you wanna get there, just go ahead and bring the legs around. We'll make our way to the back of our mat. Big toes are gonna come together. You can open your knees out nice and wide. If you've got a bolster and you wanna use a bolster here in your child's pose, you're more than welcome to do that. I like to bring the bolster kinda right in between my legs. Right now I have a heavy bolster, so mine kind of stays put, but if you need to push it down into your legs for it to stay still, 
That's perfect. When you're ready, we'll start to fold forward over the bolster, bringing our chest down or just folding forward over the mat, doesn't matter. And I want you to start by bringing your right ear down to the mat, looking over the left shoulder. With every inhale, maybe seeing if you can sink a little bit deeper into your pose, reaching the hips further back towards the heels. Feeling tension being released in the hips, in the upper body, in the back side of the body. On your next inhale, we'll just turn the head. Left ear comes down to your mat or to your bolster. Look over the right shoulder. One deep breath right here. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and bring your forehead through center. You can press yourself up off of the mat. If you've got the bolster, just go ahead and take it out of the way off to the side. And we'll walk ourselves up into a tabletop position, bringing the hands down to your mat. Knees are gonna be back behind you. We'll get the shoulders so they come right over the wrist, hips right over the knees, and I want you to take a big inhale. You're gonna dip the belly down, open up the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. Take a big exhale to push into the heels of the hands, curve the spine up, look back to the tops of your legs, draw the shoulder blades apart. Good, we'll inhale, dip the belly down, open the chest, draw all those shoulder blades together. We'll exhale to push into the heels of the hands, curve the spine up, look back to the tops of the legs. And I'll let you take a couple more there at your own pace, moving however you feel you need to, maybe rocking the hips a little bit from side to side. If that feels good, you can circle the hips around if you like that. I'll just give you a couple moments to yourself. You decide what you need in this moment. Once you feel good here, go ahead and reset into that neutral tabletop position, shoulders over wrists. We'll take a couple of wrist stretches here. So from right here, I want you to spread the fingertips nice and wide. We're just gonna rock forward and back, shifting weight from the knuckles back into the heel of the hand. So shoulders will come a little bit forward of the wrist, nothing too crazy, right? I still want it to feel okay in your body, right? And you. You and only you can decide what feels right for you, right? Everything I tell you is a suggestion. 
the direction that I give you is a template. If we need to venture off of that, that's okay. Good, next time you come in over those hands, I want you to flip your fingertips out to the edges of the mat. And now we'll rock from side to side, shifting weight from the knuckles and then into the heels of the hands. Maybe spreading the fingertips a little bit wider, trying to put some pressure to the fingertips as well. See how that feels, how that changes the stretch in your wrist, maybe in the forearms and the elbows. When you're ready, go ahead and come back to center. We'll take the left hand, turn the fingertips forward. With the right hand, you're gonna flip your fingertips back towards you so your thumb reaches out towards the side of your mat. And now we rock back and forth. Now, if this is too intense for you, pick one of those first two stretches and just stick there. I like this one, but I have wrist issues. So it feels nice, feels intense, but it feels good. Take as many moments here as you need. And once you've decided that it's time, we'll switch over to the other side, bringing the right fingertips so they reach forward. Left hand is gonna flip back towards you. Fingertips point towards your knee. That left thumb points out. We rock back, we pull forward. Okay, once you've decided that it's time for you to be done right here, you can flip the left hand forward. Take a deep breath. Maybe take one more round of cat cow, inhaling down. Exhaling to press away, curving the spine. Good, and then when you're ready, we'll take the right leg. We'll inhale to step that right foot forward. If you've got blocks, go ahead, grab onto your blocks. Feel free to do that. I like blocks just to give me a little bit of height. Um, your blocks can come to either side of your foot. If you don't have blocks, just keep the fingertips on the ground. That's cool with me. And I like to walk my foot and my knee out a little bit wider just to find some more space in the pelvis. And we'll just kind of hang out here in our low lunge. Good, take one more deep breath right here. And on your next inhale, we'll press ourselves up off of those blocks. We'll bring the arms around and up. Maybe finding a little back bend like we did at the start of class. And then we'll take an exhale, bring the arms down. Hands can come back down to your blocks. We'll do that two more times. When you're ready, if you like that, keep it going. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. Big inhale, lift the arms off of the blocks. Reach the fingertips up overhead, maybe taking a little back bend, pointing the gaze upwards. Big exhale, we'll drop the hands down, come back into that low lunge. Good. If you like that, great. If you don't like it, I don't take offense, don't worry. Good, one more. We inhale, reach the hands off of your blocks. Maybe getting deeper into that stretch, maybe finding the extension in your back, bringing that gaze up towards the ceiling. Ooh, and then big exhale, you bring the hands back down. Good. Good, from here, we're just gonna shift the weight back so we find our half split. You can rock back onto the right heel, and I like to stay up on my blocks to find a little more length. That feels good for me, but if you wanna be all the way down on the ground and fold forward over that right leg, go ahead and do it.
I'll take one more deep breath right here. And then on your next inhale, go ahead and bend that right knee. You can keep your hands on your blocks or you can keep them down on the mat. We'll just step that right knee back. Take a second, reset in your tabletop. Maybe rock the hips a little bit side to side if that feels good, if that's what you feel like you need. And then we'll take our next inhale to step the left foot forward. So we find our low lunge. Again, if you've got blocks, awesome. I like them at the mid setting. If you wanna bring them all the way down, you can do that as well. Good, and then just start to breathe into the stretch. For a lot of us, our hips are chronically tight, especially the hip flexors, right? We use the hip flexors all day, sitting down, walking around. We do a lot of hip flexion, right? So here we get that big hip extension through the front of the right hip. If it feels too intense, just ease up out of it a little bit, right? It doesn't have to be the most intense thing in the world. It doesn't always have to be the lowest possible lunge. Right, you move however you need to in your body today, okay? On your next inhale, we'll bring those hands away from the blocks, lifting up and around, maybe finding a back extension, bringing the gaze up towards the ceiling. We'll exhale, drop the hands back down to your blocks, maybe press up out of that left hip a little bit if you need to, good. Good, and again, if you don't like it, don't do it. Try one, maybe. And if you don't want to continue, that's okay. When you're ready, big inhale. We lift the hands up off the blocks, bring them up overhead, biceps by the ears, little tiny back bend, little back extension. And we'll exhale, hands come back down. Good. Now for me, that one gets a little intense on the left hip. Okay, one more time. We inhale, lift those hands up off of the blocks, pushing gently the hips forward, bringing the gaze up if that feels okay. And we'll exhale, drop the hands back down. Good. This time we're going to push the weight back into our hips, extending the left leg, rocking back onto that left heel to find our half split. Good. Now, whatever you did on the other side, try to match it on this side, right? So if you walk, rocked back and forth, go ahead and do that again. If you just hung out in that static hold, that's perfect. If you kind of flowed through the low lunge to half split, that's something I always like to do. Go ahead and do that too. Or do that here as well, I should say. I think I'm actually gonna ditch my blocks. We'll take one more deep breath right here. And then on your next inhale, go ahead and bend back into that left knee. We'll carefully step the left foot back. And I want you to bring your legs together, ankles, knees, inner thighs connect. We'll press back into a child's pose, a little bit of a um, closer stance, and then just lower your forehead down to the mat. I want you to sweep the arms back behind you, reach for your heels. Just like with our first child's pose, maybe just letting every inhale pull you a little bit deeper into the pose. On your next inhale, we'll go ahead and bring the hands right in front of us, hands underneath the shoulders, and we'll press ourselves up so we come into a tabletop. So bring those hands forward again underneath the shoulders. This time we're going to tuck the toes under, and I want you to take an exhale, press the hips up so you find a down dog stretch. Walk the feet out so they're about hips distance, and we'll just start to pedal out 
through the knees. Good, just bending one knee, pressing the opposite heel down. On your next inhale, go ahead and lift up nice and high onto both toes. We'll exhale to drop the heels over to the right. We'll inhale, lift up nice and high through center. Exhale, both heels drop over to the left. We inhale up through center and then exhale, start to walk your feet forward to your hands. Feet are gonna stay about hips distance apart and I want you to hang out down in this forward fold. Hands stay down on the mat. Good, maybe rocking a little bit from side to side. I sometimes like to go back and forth a little bit on the feet just to connect. Good. We'll take an inhale breath here, bend the knees, find a nice low squat, maybe touching your butt down to the ground. Exhale, we'll push into the heels. You'll extend the knees, press the hips up. We'll inhale, big bend at the knees, lower the hips down, find that nice squat. Maybe you wanna walk the hands in, turn the toes out, find more of a yogi squat. That's good. Exhale, we'll push the hips up, extend the knees, forward fold. Good, one more time. We inhale, bend the knees. Maybe you're down in that yogi squat. Maybe your feet are still parallel. Big exhale, we push into the heels. We'll press things up. Good, and then if it feels good, bring the feet um, to parallel. We'll lift the hands off of the mat, reaching opposite hand to opposite elbow, and then just start to rock your upper body from side to side for a ragdoll pose. Take one more deep breath right here. And then we'll press those hands into the mat. I want you to take a little halfway lift. Inhaling halfway, nice flat back. We'll exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Good, one more time. We'll inhale, halfway lift, hands to the shin, nice flat back. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Good. Hands will stay where they're at. We're going to keep that right foot forward. I want you to step your left foot back. So we come into um, a pyramid pose and we'll just keep folding forward. I want you to try and press your chest down into your right thigh. We'll take one more deep breath right here. And on your next inhale, we'll just step that left foot forward. Okay, we'll inhale, halfway lift, hands to the shins, nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from those hips, maybe bend the knees. Okay, inhale one more time, we'll halfway lift, nice flat back. 
exhale we hinge of the hips good hands come back down to the mat left foot's going to stay forward this time right foot steps back and you may have to adjust how far your right foot steps back that's fine we'll find our pyramid pose keep folding forward over that left leg pressing the chest into the top of the thigh maybe it gets closer with every inhale but maybe not doesn't matter biceps stay right by those ears We'll take one more deep breath right here. And then we'll step that right foot forward. Okay, open the toes out, so toes out, heels in, and then maybe walk out just another inch or so. We'll take a big bend at the knees, bringing the arms into the inner thighs, finding our little yogi squat. squat. And just kind of rock the hips from side to side. See how that feels. We'll take one more deep breath right here. And on your exhale, I just want you to sit your hips back to the mat. So you're gonna fall back a little bit, which is fine. Hips roll back, bring the legs out from under you. Get that nice release. And I actually want you to find a butterfly position with your legs. You can hold on to your feet. You can bring your hands to the tops of your legs. Just kind of flutter the legs. Right, just like you would in elementary school PE, just kind of flutter them to get some movement going, maybe assist with the hands. And then when you're ready in your own time, we'll go ahead and slide those legs out in front of us. We'll lay all the way down onto our mat. Oh, sometimes it's a little bit of labor breathing. It's a labor of love to get down there. That's okay. Um, we're gonna take a pretty intense hip opener right here. Um, with our double leg pigeon pose or cow face pose, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I want you to keep your left foot on the mat. Keep that left knee bent. We'll take the right leg. You're gonna cross your right leg over your left. Like you're trying to stack your knees right on top of each other. Now you can stay right here. This is the pose, okay? If you want a little bit more, go ahead and lift that left foot so it comes off of the mat and either reach for the tops of your feet, gently pulling the legs in towards you, or just reach for your shins. Give your legs a little bit of gentle pressure. This one can get intense. So if at any point you need to come out of it, do what you need to do, okay?
We'll take one more deep breath right here. And with gentle care, go ahead and come out of this. We can release the grip on the feet. Let that left foot come down to the mat first and then uncross the right leg, planting the right foot down on the mat. You can bring your hands to your low belly or right by your sides. Before we move over to the other side, just take a moment to drop your knees from side to side. Now, once you're ready, we'll find our double leg pigeon pose on the other side. This time, right foot stays down on the mat. We'll take the, um, the left leg. You can cross your leg over the other like you're trying to stack your knees right on top of each other. Now, again, you can stay right here. If this is enough for you, go ahead and keep it right here. If you want a little bit more, right, if you really need to release that tension in the hips and you've got the flexibility, go ahead and lift your legs. So you pull the knees in towards your chest and you can reach for the tops of the feet, really gently pulling your feet in towards you. Now, it's very likely that you'll notice right away on this side, things might feel a little bit different. That's okay. That's okay. And it's important to remember when you feel those differences from side to side, this is something I heard my yoga teacher say today, one side is not better than the other. One side is not stronger than the other. There is just one side and the other side. And if they're different, that's okay, right? We're all very uniquely created. So nothing is going to be completely symmetrical from side to side. There are so many things that affect the sides of our body, the way that we sit, the way that we carry things, the way that we walk throughout the day. Many things affect how our body moves. So always keep that in mind, not only in today's practice, but in every yoga practice that you complete and throughout your day. We'll take our last breath here. And if you need more, you stay right here. When you're ready, we'll just place the right foot down on the mat, gently release your grip of the feet. Take the left foot back down to your mat. And again, we'll just drop both knees from side to side. Take as much time here as you need. And once you're ready, we're gonna find our way into Shavasana. Now I'm gonna use my bolster for Shavasana today. If you've got a bolster, you can go ahead and grab onto it. If not, no worries. You take Shavasana however you want to with or without props. I'm gonna roll up for just a second. 
If you are gonna use a bolster, which I like 10 out of 10 recommend, bolsters are amazing. Um, go ahead and bring it right to the base of your spine. So you feel it right up against you, right about to the back of your butt. Um, and then you can just start to lower yourself down onto your bolster. It's gonna feel like such a nice opening up of the low back. Ah, oh. oh, so nice. Okay, legs go out in front of you, hands come down by your sides. You can turn the palms up and then just let, let your body sink down into the mat with every inhale, perhaps letting the arms fall a little bit deeper. You let the fingers drop down, you let the feet turn out. And we'll just hold and breathe here. And if it's comfortable for you, feels okay in your body, you feel safe where you're at, go ahead and close your eyes. Let's start to bring some awareness back into our body. Maybe you put a little bit of movement into your fingertips and into your toes, right? Bring awareness back into your breathing. Maybe notice if things have slowed down. Notice how you feel in your body. Notice if you maybe feel lighter, calmer, And slowly, we'll start to blink the eyes open. Take in the color of the ceiling around you. And we're gonna roll over onto whichever side is more comfortable for you. I like to go with the left here. So we're gonna roll on to the left. You can move your bolster out of the way if you've got it, just push it back behind you. We'll roll on to that left hip and you can make a little pillow for your head with your left bicep, just come into a fetal position. Right? Find a point that you feel safe, that you feel comfortable. Take a couple deep breaths here. And 
once you're ready here, and gingerly, carefully, right, we'll push ourselves up. However you need to get up into a seated position, just climb on up. Now you can sit cross-legged or whatever position best suits your, you and your body in this moment. Take one deep inhale, and then when you're ready, big exhale, you can let it go. Maybe you bring your hands to your heart. Maybe you keep your hands on your low belly, on your, hand, on your legs. Thank you so much for joining me for your practice today. I'm so happy that you are here and I hope that you enjoy this nice, long, slow flow. Always remember that you are awesome and you can do anything you put your mind to and I will see you guys in our next video. I just can't resist you.